Hi, I'm Tom Long. Today, we're going to be chilling on the beach near the Oak Island Pier. I don't usually share my thoughts on the epistle reading, but the reading for the sixth Sunday of Easter happens to not only be one of my favorites, but it's so relevant to what is happening not only in the world, but in the church world. Our reading is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13 through 22, but frankly, I'm really zeroing in on just verses 15 and 16. Peter is in the midst of a very pastoral letter, and we're reading an excerpt from some of his practical tips for living out our faith. Peter, as we see him in Acts, is very focused on making the world aware of the good news. Jesus came because God loves the world, and that Jesus' incarnation, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension has opened the door for us and for those whom we, with whom we share our faith to be strongly connected to God. Church history is full of horrendous stories where the point of today's passage was violently violated. I know I too have fallen short of living out the principles Peter sets out here. So Peter, how do we make our good news known to others? He says, but in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. So tip one, revere Christ as Lord. In other words, we're going to do this Jesus way. Tip two, there's an old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Peter's response is to live a life in a way that your conscience is clear. He might have said, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Ah, but you can salt their tongue. When we are salt to the earth, a person of integrity and love, some people will notice and ask questions about it. They'll get thirsty. But if, you st if we stand for truth and justice, some will see us as a threat to their positions of privilege, just as they did with Jesus. We may find ourselves not questioned by the curious, but by the furious. Peter makes it clear that our doing good makes the job of those who oppose us much harder. I think of Martin Luther King Jr. and his commitment to peacefully protesting, which showed the violent response for what it truly was, the face of evil. Tip three, be ready with an answer, ready to give a reason for your hope in Christ. Determine now, not later when the question comes up, that you will, no matter the potential blowback, just give an honest and unvarnished account of what it is that you believe. Be ready. Tip number four, the content of our answer is no more important than the manner in which we relate to those who have a different worldview. Peter says in our, in our verses that we answer with gentleness and respect. Gentleness means here having the power to damage something fragile, but being careful not to do that. Respect is to honor the value of the other person as someone who is, perhaps unwittingly, a bearer of God's image. Paul gave the young pastor Timothy some similar advice. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 through 25, the Bible says, Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful, Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth 
unquote. There's no excuse for weaponizing the gospel to win an argument or get one up on someone else. Our faith is not part of a culture war. Our faith isn't meant to be a pie in the face. It is meant to be a pie we share with others who, like us, are hungry to be connected to God and God's followers in their community of love, kindness, gentleness, and respect. I hope Peter's words in this little letter mean as much to you as they do to me. And may you be treated with gentleness and respect. God bless.